president ready for deployment. Joining me right now is former Bridgewater Associate CEO and Pennsylvania Senate candidate David McCormick. David, great to see you. Hey, great to be here. Thank Maria. you so much. You're a West Point grad. You served in the first Gulf War. You have experience in the region. Thank you for your service to our great yeah. country. How do you see all of this? Well, first of all, congratulations on 30 great years. Oh, thank you so <laughs> I think much. I've known you for 20 of those. I know. So, uh, very, very, uh, very happy. And for it goes by in a snap. Your great success. Listen, it, we are at a, a critical moment of weakness uh, in terms of how the world sees us and risk. Uh, we see it on, uh, with China. We see it with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We see it with this horrible, barbaric invasion. Uh, these aren't. This isn't war. These were war crimes that were prosecuted against uh, Israel. And it's a time for strength and resolve from our leadership. You say you, you want moral clarity. Absolutely. And we, we need moral clarity. We as Americans need to stand by our closest ally, Israel, with all the military support and intelligence support they need to prosecute the war. We need to tighten the noose around Iran. If it was ever in question that Iran was, in, was a threat to America and a threat to Israel, that, that question has been resolved. We need to tighten the noose on them and make sure that they're no longer able to support terrorism. And finally, we need to be vigilant because this is the moment. It's the, it's the lesson we learned on the playground. If the bully thinks you're weak, that's the time they try to push you around. And right now, I'm afraid uh, that our adversaries around the world think we're weak. Well, I mean, look, he won't even connect the dots to Iran. Right. You know that he won't say it. Right. We'll see if he says it tonight. Well, listen, I'm connecting the following dots, which is the uh, disgraceful withdrawal from Afghanistan, the uh, right. ham-handed handling and almost the, the encouragement uh, that was given to Putin by the way uh, President Biden handled that, and then the lackluster response early on, uh, and, then, and then finally uh, what we're now seeing with Hamas, uh, and that's a direct result of a very soft approach to Iran. Mm -hmm. uh, and Iran has, Iran has continued, based on the deal that was done with President Obama, to be able to underwrite terrorists around the world because they've had the resources to do so. Uh, and you're going to take all of this on should you win the Senate seat. Let's talk about your campaign uh, for Senate to unseat Democrat Senator Bob Casey. Yesterday, you called him out on X for not criticizing his own party after some Democrats rushed to blame Israel for the Gaza hospital blast this week. An hour later, Casey posts this. The United States stands with Israel as it responds to this attack by working to destroy Hamas. You pointed out that back in 20. 2021, Casey failed to support a bill which was imposing sanctions on Hamas, the Islamic Jihad, and other terrorist groups. In 2015, he voted three times to approve the Iran nuclear deal. Tell us more. Well, listen, this is a moment. We're, we're all being tested. We see our university presidents being tested, and many of them failing. We see members of Congress being tested, and many of them failing with, uh, with, without moral clarity. And in this particular case, uh, my opponent, uh, Senator Casey, has not demonstrated moral clarity. And I called him out on that because uh, it's important that our leaders stand up and make it clear that, uh, that this was a barbaric act against Israel and that we need to stand by our ally. But, but there's a broader question here, which is, which is why I'm running. And the reason I'm running is I've, I've been blessed by all that America has to offer. I grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania, went to West Point, have had a successful business career. I've really lived the American dream and I think that dream's slipping away. And so the reason I'm running is that uh, the people of Pennsylvania deserve better. And, and, and uh, Senator Casey has been in office for 17 years in the most consequential state in the country. He's been an inconsequential senator, and he's voted with Joe Biden 98% of the time. So he's really been a career politician and a rubber stamp for Joe Biden. And, and the people of Pennsylvania are very unhappy and they deserve better. Well, this could be a key uh, pivot for the the Republicans to take the Senate in, in the next cycle, right? Yeah. You, you, this seat could actually help the Republicans take it. Absolutely. You go across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, 40-year high in inflation. Mm. People say Bidenomics is improving. Inflation is going down. Prices are up 20%. Yeah. If you're on a fixed income or you're living paycheck to paycheck, it's killing you. Well, it's also the essentials, right? Food, exactly. fuel, shelter. These right. are the things that are still elevated. Crime. I mean, the city of Philadelphia, crime is at an all-time high. I was in a, 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 a sports uh, store the other day, and I asked, who's buying guns? And the answer was, 
Women are buying more than half the guns, wow. handguns in suburban, outside of Philadelphia, suburb, those uh, suburban neighborhoods, because they're so afraid of crime. It's, you know, it's interesting. All, my friends have guns. You're right. Um, and, and women are afraid because right. people are, you know, robbing, stealing. You know, I mean, you've got... Looting uh, in downtown Philadelphia, it, right? it's And it's going on in all big cities. Right. I want to get your take on China. So you had a, a very successful business career, and you did. And, and you, when you started running in politics, you saw the adversary for who it was in terms right. of China. And Chinese leader Xi Jinping said earlier today that the top priority for the Israel-Hamas war should be ceasefire as soon as possible, claiming that a two-state solution to establish an independent Palestine is, quote, the only fundamental way out. Xi is also discussing the war with Russian President Vladimir Putin during a three-hour meeting in Beijing yesterday, where he praised his, quote, good working relationship and deep friendship with Vladimir Putin. This is what has happened under Joe Biden's uh, foreign policy. Absolutely. And start with China. China has a plan to replace America as the global superpower. China has a plan um, that threatens America's interests around the world with its military capability, its economic capability. And we do not have a plan. Uh, Joe Biden and his administration has not put forward a plan. And the plan needs to have two parts. We need to build muscle at home, go to the gym and get our economy back in tra on track. Mm -hmm. And we need to build our military capability and we need to engage with China in a way that reduces our dependency, our supply chains, and is able to ensure that we're the technology leader in the world. Well, I know that doesn't happen overnight, but we've been talking about this for a long time. Right. How come we don't have more supply chains out of China? Right. A absolutely. We all learned during COVID two things. Exactly. Our pharmaceutical supply That's chains, right. highly dependent, and then semiconductors. And, uh, and these are the direct result of, of decades of bad policy that needs to be corrected in a much more aggressive way. David, we'll be watching your campaign. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much. David McCormick running for Senate in Pennsylvania. Let's go to Fox.